So I thought that showing you guys how to get into DFU mode or device firmware update mode on your iPhones and your iPod 3G, 2G, Edge, um, any generation would be a little bit helpful because a lot of people don't know the button combination and a lot of people don't like jailbreaking after it is done because their iPhones and iPods will freeze up on them or they just feel guilty because they don't like stealing things because they can't sleep at night. I personally can sleep at night, but I'm going to put mine back into regular mode just to show you guys how to do it. I have already downloaded my firmware for my iPhone 3G uh, 3.0 restore, and I will also put a link to all the restores in the video description for you guys. Um, I might also put a link up to how to jailbreak the iPhone if I have some free time tonight. Um, but the easiest way to put it into DFU mode, you're going to also want to go to iTunes first. So let's open up iTunes. I just like to do it this way because iTunes is a pretty cool tool to actually let you know that your iPhone is actually in DFU mode so you know for sure. Um, a lot of people try the whole holding the reset and home button at the same time, letting go of the reset, holding the home button, and then holding the reset button again. I think that's too difficult and I ran across another way to do it. I'll put a link in the description to that website as well just in case you don't understand me. But all you have to do is make sure that your iPhone is unplugged and off. And then you're going to want to hold the home button and plug in your iPhone. It will turn on and after holding the home button for a while it's going to have an icon that shows a USB plug in iTunes. And then you can let go at that point. And when you have iTunes open, a message will pop up. Any second now. This message will pop up. iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore the iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Now my iPhone is fine. If I turned it off and restarted, I could still go into my jailbreaked iPhone firmware. But I want to restore it. And um, what you're going to want to do right here is hit under version. I'm on the iPhone summary page right here. You're going to want to hold shift and press restore. That way it's going to let you search for the specific firmware that you have downloaded, not something it's going to want to download from their site. Um, mine's on the desktop. Okay, right here. Hit open. Extracting software. Yeah, video might be a little bit laggy. I'm on vacation and I'm doing this from my netbook, which does not have the right processor for video editing, but bear with me. Okay, my iPhone has ejected and is doing a bunch of stuff, installing device drivers, blah, 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 blah. It's basically about to restore the iPhone's firmware to its 3.0 non-jailbroken state. Now, on, uh, on my iPhone, I see a silver apple right now like it's starting up but it's going to be there for a little bit now I see a loading bar underneath the silver apple on my screen so I'm going to fast forward until that loading bar is filled up
I suggest watching some television at this point because it takes a little bit of time to do. Okay, now that we are back it says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings. Which is what we wanted. It is now non-jailbroken factory just like you got out of the store if you have the 3.0 software. Now you could have easily just chosen the 2.1 software and updated to 3.0. I mean it, it's literally just like you got it out of the store. So we can just exit out of iTunes and that is it. Um, if you guys have any questions feel free to comment. I will be checking and I will be able to answer your questions. And uh, please rate this as five stars if you thought it was helpful and subscribe if you want. Thank you guys.